Hello, you're joining us back at Dukoscopy TV HQ. I'm Natalie MacDonald. Now here at Dukoscopy TV, we're always looking to bring you the very latest in investor opportunities, and today is no different. Dr. Nicola Tomatis of Bluebotics joins me in the studio now. Nicola, thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks to you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Not a problem. Now, Bluebotics currently sits in a very interesting and very niche market. Can you expand on this for our viewers, please? Yes, so uh, Bluebotics' vision is to become the leader in uh, what we call autonomous navigation. Uh, navigation being the functionality of a machine to know where it is, where it has to go and how to get there. Uh, basically, we have two main market segments. One is just selling this navigation uh, product to existing markets. Most of them is logistics, so it's kind of forklifts moving around pallets. And the other one is enabling new applications. Now, how exactly does this market function? While these systems are being discussed increasingly within the broader consumer sphere, what is the current market landscape for products of this type? Right, good question. Um, again, there are applications existing since 40 years. Uh, if you take uh, now logistics, it started in the 70s. But you're right, also in the consumer market, uh, there are more and more things coming. The most known are the uh, vacuum cleaner at home. So uh, this is a kind of more uh, limited functionality. It just moves around randomly. Uh, but in general, today what's happening is that you have technology enablers and then you have visionaries uh, trying to bring that into the market and to bridge that and to create a disruptive apl application that really can make the difference in our lives. Now coming on to a, a slightly testy topic almost, the labour market is currently at the top of policymakers' concerns regarding economic recovery and the idea of robots over manual labour is certainly a much debated one. In your view, is automation creating or killing jobs? So today it's clearly creating more jobs than those that are killed. These are concrete statistics. Of course, we have to be careful. I would say there are three aspects. Uh, the first one is competitiveness. Uh, in, in countries like Switzerland, in general, like Europe, we must be competitive if we want to uh, keep production of, of products in our uh, place. This is a key point. Then the second uh, aspect is productivity. Um, in the 60s, um, Mr. Friedman, an economist, American economist, was in, in Asia, visiting Asia, and he saw uh, during the visit uh, people uh, with the shovel doing a, a street. And then he asked the official guy, uh, why are not, uh, this guy not using a tractor or, or other machines? And the answer was, uh, well, this is a job program. And then Friedman told them, but then why don't you give them a spoon instead of a shovel so that you have even more jobs? So the message is uh, productivity is the key point, not employment. Now, of course, employment is also very important. Uh, there are studies showing that, that, that IT has polarized the, the job. So you have more uh, low wage bo jobs and high wage bo jobs and less in the middle. We have to take care that in the future it continues creating more jobs than, than killing jobs. But today is clearly the case. And lastly then, Nicola, looking at the risk-reward balance attached to any development, is robotics becoming investor-friendly? And, and where would you say opportunity lies for investors looking to expand into this market? Uh, yes, so um, we have to be honest. Robotics rela is related to hardware. Uh, historically, hardware is becoming less interesting for investors. I think two years ago, HP, the leader in, in, in personal computers, told us that they wanted to stop with that because it was too, too difficult. Then they were coming back to their decision. But uh, what we see today is that um, we have a kind of hype in this field in robotics. Uh, there is even a model called the Gardner hype cycle that says that you have uh, first a peak of hype, then a disillusion and then productivity. So the, the, the market we are in now is coming to the maximum of hype and should now go into the productivity, hopefully. Uh, we see concretely some consolidation in the market. I think this is a very important message for investors. If you see Kiva System, a company making automation for logistics, has been bought by Amazon for 775 millions two years ago. And last year, iRobot, the leader in the field, bought Evolution Robot of, uh, Robotics for 50 million. So now there are real movement, there are real application, and there are uh, also uh, interesting deals for the investors. Nicola, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your insight into what is a really fascinating market area. Thank you. Thank you very much.
That's all we've got time for right now. From all here at Dukoscopy TV HQ, we wish you a great weekend and look forward to seeing you on Monday with more exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.